Hey, this is John Cena, WWE Superstar and 15-time champ, and you are watching Miss WWE Fan 13. You can't see us. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be, me and my mom over there, we're going to be teaching you how to frame a WWE shirt. This can also be involved with, if it's like a football jersey, anything that's like a shirt. And so we're going to be filming, we're going to, oh, excuse me, we're going to be uh, framing the John Cena shirt that Cena gave me during my Make-A-Wish. As you can see, it's a 2X, that's a size Cena wears. And the front, 12 years. And then we're also going to be adding in the Sination headband. So what you basically need to do this is first you need a shadow box. So this is the cover of the shadow. This is the back of the shadow box where you actually put the shirt. And then the glass. It's actually a thick glass. As you can see, like it's that thick. So you can frame the shirt. And another thing you also need are... The, cl the clothes pins doesn't matter if it's the T pins or regular pins, but we've been kind of experimenting, and I think these are going to work the best. So once we get everything set up on the board, we'll show you. So like I said, step one is you're going to need to fold the shirt. So here's the front of the shirt, and then if you guys own this shirt, you already know what the back really is. It has the never give up. So I will take some clips of my mom folding it, but then we'll show you the end product of after she's completely done folding it. Should I show step one like that? So, well I've been recording you. Oh. But as you can see my mom folded over one of the sleeves. Because we basically just want to show the front of the shirt. Even though I know you guys are going to say, but that's the back of the shirt. Yes guys, we already know that. We're professionals. But my mom knows what she's doing more than I am. So that's why I'm letting her take care of this part. So. As you can see, she's folding and tucking in the sleeves. And then she brings that to the front. And hopefully when she flips it over, she'll adjust it to how we want the shirt. So basically, I just want that main Cena logo in the front. So right now, we're going to place it on the black board and then start pinning them down. OK, so my mom finished uh, folding it and getting it straight and perfect and everything. So now we have it here on the black, um, what is this called, like cardboard? It's not even cardboard, but whatever, for the, the backboard. So now that that's folded and everything, we're going to start pinning it down. So we're using the T-pins. So my mom's just going to show how you basically just stick it in. And you really, guys, honestly, you need to just buy a lot of pins because, especially if it's one of the rest of our shirts, they tend to weigh a lot more than like ours since we were like mediums and larges. And Cena wears a 2X, so it's a little heavier, so that's why we bought a whole big pack of um, pins. So, as you can see, my mom's just really trying to get it in there, because the first time we did this, it was just a disaster, because we only had like 8 pins, but now we have like so many to count. So, uh, I will show the result after, but you might want to, like, for sure get all four corners of the t-shirt. Um... And maybe even the top of the t-shirt where his head goes through. But for sure, most important part is each corner to really get like a good grip on the board. Okay, so the shirt ended up using seven pins. Three at the top. Which was? Right here, right there where my mom's pointing. And then two in the middle, so one there and one over here. And then two here again, one there. One there, and the moment that always gets us nervous, if you would like to lift it up, Mike, is if whether the shirt's going to stay or if it's going to tip over. And as you can see, it stays. So that's what really got us frustrated the first time we ever did this. So next thing we're going to put on here is the Sination armband that he personally gave me, if you guys remember during Raw. So, yeah. Uh, we'll see you guys uh, after we place it on and everything. And I'll also show you how my mom puts the uh, pins on there. So honestly, these pins, I'm really kind of surprised these are actually really good because the other ones that we had just sucked. So if you go to Walmart, I don't think there's a really a brand because I'm looking here. Is there a brand on these, Mike? I think my mom's checking the trash. Um, they're just called T-pins. So honestly, these are honestly worked way better than the ones we used the first time. So I do recommend probably going to get the T-pins because they seem like they're a lot more sturdier and they don't like break as easily. So we'll, we're going to, like I said, put the Sination thing on there, and then we'll show you guys after. 
Okay, so now we're pinning down the, uh, well, what is a headband to us, but an armband to John Cena. If you guys remember, he gave me this at the end of Raw. He took it off while he wore it through his match, and then obviously that's a shirt he threw out to the crowd to us. And so my mom's basically using the T-pins again because they're just really, really good and way more sturdier for this stuff. So my mom's just putting them in each corner. And then after we're done, we'll show you the uh, finished product, basically. So after, the next time you're going to see this board is when we have the glass on it and everything. So as you can see, like I said, my mom's putting it in each corner. Okay guys, so here's, we placed the, uh, this is what the shirt was originally on. We put it back in the frame. So as you can see here, it has like the little, uh, what are these, just like the little hooks? To, then you just slide them underneath here to keep the shirt stable when you hang it on the wall. So there's just a bunch of these to do, but I will show you guys the finished product after we put all these in. Because there's like a lot all around the frame. Finally, after six months of trying to get this framed, we finally did it correctly. The only thing you guys are going to see in the future is oh, hopefully right here, or maybe at the top, I just don't know where yet, I'm going to get a plaque that says Monday Night Raw, August 25th, 2014, and I'm in California, and somewhere on there, make a wish, so we know exactly, I remember exactly the date, and I will obviously remember this is always for my make a wish, but just to have like every little info about it, so... Finally, did it right, Mary. Right, Mary? And we already did the John Cena poster, so that's not really necessary. And then we're going to do this again, but I'm not going to make another video of it. But we're going to do it for the autograph stuff that Cena gave me, because it's just going to be a bunch more. And But it's basically going to be the same steps as this. So, yeah, guys, so that's it. And I hope you guys learned how to put your shirts that you catch at the shows in the shadow box. And honestly, I do recommend the best place to get these shadow boxes is at Hobby Lobby. Can you think of any other places? Uh, Michael's. But I think... But Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Always, there's always, like, uh, that's the best place to get your frames. Because they always have, like, 50% off for 8x10 frames. And they do really good deals, in my opinion. And then anytime you go to Hobby Lobby, you can go on the Hobby Lobby website and get a 20% off or something. 40%. 40% off, even if you go, like... You just any time you go, as long as you have your phone to show them the coupon or you print it out. So, yeah, here's my John Cena shirt and the John Cena armband that Cena personally wore. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, give this video a thumbs up and comment right down below. And if you guys want to see some of my past videos or stay tuned for some of my future videos, just hit that subscribe button that's down below also. And that's it for this video, guys. So, you can't see me.